Do you believe that what's happened in Gaza constitutes genocide? I do. And I think that the fact that this debate is raging on shows that what Israel is doing is egregious enough. The fact that people are actually having a debate on whether or not it is genocide. Like you said, the International Court of Justice has agreed that there's a plausible case for genocide. I think that you just clearly articulated several factors that Israel is, in fact, carrying out. The mental bodily harm and carrying about conditions uh, to destroy a group of people. Clearly, the complete siege on Gaza, the elimination or the prevention, rather, of water, food, electricity, the prevention of aid, um, widespread preventable illnesses, uh, killing people. Now uh, we see two million people on the brink of starvation. Clearly, these are all intended to destroy a group of people. When you compound that with the indiscriminate bombing in the most densely populated places on Earth, I would absolutely constitute that as genocidal killing. And then peers compound that with the fact that there's genocidal intent. This is usually one of the hardest things to prove in a case of genocide. Not the case in Israel's genocide in Gaza. We have five pages just in the ICJ ruling that clearly lay out the explicit intent to carry out genocide. And I'll just point to two. Uh, the Israeli president, who said shortly after October 7th that uh, no civilian in Gaza is innocent um, and that they should have overthrown Hamas. And because they didn't, they are essentially worth, uh, you know, killing. And then you have the defense minister shortly after October 7th that these are human animals and we need to act accordingly as he announced the complete siege of Gaza. So taking all that into account, I would absolutely constitute what is happening is genocide. And Israel needs to be held accountable and stopped immediately because it's the gravest crime against humanity that a state can commit.